Fusion 360. You either love it or you hate it. Hi, I'm Paul. Welcome to my messy workshop. Well, today I'm not in my messy workshop. I'm at my messy computer station and my messy workshop is just on the other side of that wall. A friend of mine, Al Forte, wanted to know if I knew how to design a project in Fusion 360. What he wanted to do was design a sphere that he could 3D print that had a design on it that stood proud of the surface of the sphere. I said, I've got no idea how to do that. So the two of us worked on it. We talked back and forth. We watched some YouTube videos. We played around with Fusion 360. And then all of a sudden, the light came on and I figured out how to do it. So I ran it past Al. He thought that is exactly what he wanted. So I thought I'd make this video to show you how I did this in Fusion 360. In Fusion 360, there's a ton of different ways you can do stuff. Um, I don't know that there's a right way and a wrong way so much as a way that gets you to the final product that you're after. So watch the video, see what you think, and uh, I'll meet you at the end. Here we are in Fusion 360. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sphere. So I go to create, I go down the list and I find sphere and I click on it. I was always taught to work on the red green axis. So that's what I'm going to do here as soon as I can get to it. There it is right there. I'll click on the center of it and bring up my sphere. It's a 40 millimeter sphere. That'll work fine. I can uh, either zoom in on it or I can make it bigger if I need to, but I shouldn't. So there's the sphere. Now to put the design on it, the first thing I have to do is I have to create an offset plane. So to do that, we go to Construct, Offset Plane, and I can pick any plane I want, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna pick this one. And the only important thing is, is I get it out away from that sphere because that's where I'm gonna do all my work is on this offset plane. So I'll pull it out, I'll click OK, and let me spin that around so you can see that it is in fact away from the, the sphere. The next thing I'm gonna do is make my design and for this, I'm just all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Sketch. Um, I'm going to go to Arc, a three-point arc. It wants to know what plane I'm going to draw it on. I'm going to draw it on my offset plane. And, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a bunch of three-point arcs around this sphere just to get a design on it. it. It doesn't have to be any certain kind of design. But uh, this is what I'm going to do here. There we go. We have a closed design. And let me spin this around and you can see that it sits proud of that sphere. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my design, right click, and I'm going to, in fact, let's not do it that way. Let's go up to Create, Extrude, and I want to extrude this back to the sphere. And the way you do that is go up to Extrude here, the little menu that comes up, and for Extent, it set at Distance, and you change that to, to an object. Then it wants you to select the object that you want to extrude that design to. Well, we want to extrude it to the sphere. So we click on that. And then down under operation, we want to change that to new body. So now 
our design is tied in with that sphere. Let's spin that around a little more. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to move this whole thing in a little bit towards that sphere. So we come up here and we just pick that that whole design. We right click. We do a move copy. And we move it in just a little bit. We don't have to go very far in this case. Move it into that sphere and click OK. The next thing we do is we click, we want to modify it, and we want to combine it. So we, we, it, first thing it wants to know is the target body. Well, the target body is the sphere. The tool is our design. That's what's going to cut into the sphere. And it's a cut operation. And we just click OK. Now what we have is our design inset into the sphere. But we want it outset from the sphere. So the next thing we do is we go up, click on our inset piece, then right click, go to press pull, and we pull it out however far proud we want it to be of that sphere. So let's take it, that looks good right there. And we click OK. And there we have it. That is our sphere with our design following the shape of the sphere. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, Fusion 360 seems to have a pretty steep learning curve to it. I've been messing around with it for a while now, and, and I still don't know that much about it. I'm still learning. It's just that you got to use it to figure it out. If you'd like to check out my friend Al Forte's uh, YouTube channel, it's Odessa Woodworking and Maker Shop. And on the weekends, he has a Twitch TV broadcast that is at uh, Kilroy79763. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Um, when you subscribe, there's a little bell next to the subscription button, and if you hit that, you get notified whenever I make a video. Well, I appreciate your watching, and until next time, happy woodworking.